Hi there, today I'm going to review the Olympus Tough TG810 shockproof and waterproof camera. As you can see from the front, it's uh, shockproof for 2 meters and waterproof for 10 meters. Uh, it's also got a built-in GPS, which I'll show you later in my demonstration. Today I'm going to show you some of the additional features this camera has. Feature number one for this camera is a built-in flashlight. Uh, it's an LED on the front of the camera that's quite powerful and handy when you're in some dark locations. Uh, in order to work this, what you do is um, go to your menu screen, select the uh, settings number three, and turn the LED illuminator on. To turn on the LED flashlight, all you have to do while the camera is off, tap the question help button once, and then again and hold it and this will turn on the flashlight on the front. So you can see it's on. It stays on for about 30 seconds or so. And if you'd like to turn this off, uh, just press the question button again and hold it and it goes off. Second feature I'm going to show you is uh, tap control. Uh, in order to turn this on, go into your menu settings um, number three and scroll down to tap control click to turn this on. You can also do a calibration of it as well and I'll show you what it does. While in photo review mode you can actually scroll through your photos uh, by tapping on the left or the right side of the camera. This goes forwards or backwards depending which side you tap on. Uh, if you tilt the camera to the right it'll actually fast forward through your photos. And same thing if you tip to the left. Uh, once you see the photo you like, you stop and it'll go to it. If you want to go to camera mode, you can simply tap on the top top twice and then it'll go back to camera mode. To utilize the tap function uh, while in camera mode, um, the best feature on here is to set it to the snowman and just your snow function and this allows you to take photos uh, if you have gloves on um, basically, you can tap the screen twice and it'll take the photo for you. Try another one. Oops. In tap mode, you can also uh, use this to scroll through your different functions by tapping the left. Uh, it'll scroll through as well as the right, and to go uh, up and down, uh, you can just tap the top and it'll scroll through for you. Feature number three on this camera uh, is a built-in compass. In order to turn this on, you press up on the joystick, you hold it, and you'll see that the compass comes on. Uh, this is a neat feature, is when you take a photo and you're facing a certain direction, it'll actually tell you which way you're facing. Uh, it also tags the photo with the uh, barometer, uh, the altitude, and the water depth on there, as well as the time and date stamps. To turn it off, uh, I just click Menu. Feature number four for this camera is the uh, built-in GPS. Uh, this is a neat feature that will actually locate your coordinates uh, where you take the photo and stamp your photo uh, with those coordinates. Um, to turn this on, you go to your GPS settings, click on it, uh, GPS, change it from off to on, and once you've done that, check on the status to see what it's doing. As you can see, mine's updating GPS. Uh, once it actually locates uh, the GPS, I'll make the next film. As you can see here, the GPS is finally connected and identified that uh, I'm in Toronto. Uh, and You can see the latitude and longitude uh, coordinates. Uh, which will stamp on a photo when I take it. Lastly, built-in feature of this camera is the steady hand um, shaking function, which allows you to uh, take a clear photo when you're being bumped around, uh, i.e. on a boat. So you see I'll shake my hand here, take a photo, and um, I don't know if you can tell from the photo, but it's pretty clear. Uh, there's no blurring. That's it. Thanks for watching my video.